right, guys, this is a video lesson. We're going to look at three-dimensional shapes. So you're going to be able to identify the faces, the vertices, and the edges on a 3D, 3D shape, along with drawing a net. So let's do a couple review things. Let's talk about what dimensional means. So if we're looking at a one-dimensional shape, um, or one-dimensional, that's like a ray, a line, or a segment. I'm just looking at one link. A two-dimensional shape is both looking at length and width. So if you look here, I'm looking at length and width, base and height. So I'm looking at two different dimensions. So once we start talking about three-dimensional, we're looking at both the, sh the length, the width, and the height of a shape. So here's a three-dimensional shape. This is a rectangular prism. So I'm looking at the edges, the faces, and the vertices. So what I mean by that is the edges is this part right here. This is where two faces will meet. That is called the edge. So this is on your notes. You can go back in just a second and write these down. The face, these are my faces right in through here. This is the flat surface, and in most cases, there are several faces. So in a three-dimensional shape, you're going to have to kind of look back behind. You're going to have to picture what it looks like. And then the vertices are the points. These are the points that the two edges come together. So those are my vertices. You'll see I'll have several of them. So we're going to go through and see if we can um, count these. Here's a better, maybe a better image for you to look at. So you can see my three-dimensional shape. My faces, so this is my face. And if you'll notice, I have one two, I have the bottom three, the back side, which is four, plus each side. So that's six faces there. My edges are, again, where they meet. So I have a lot of edges. And my vertices are the points. Okay? All right. So go back and take some time to write down the definitions of the faces, the edges, and the vertices. So pause the video and come back once you have written down the definitions. All right, we're going to uh, identify some 3D shapes here. Let me first go through a definition with what a prism is. A prism is a three-dimensional figure with two parallel and congruent polygonal bases. So what that means, don't get freaked out here, what that means is if you look, look at the example here. So do you see my bases? They're going to be parallel to each other, so they go from here to here. So you really have to think about what a 3D shape would look like. Um, so this one has this blue base here. It's parallel and congruent. That means it's the exact same as the one on the other side. This one over here is not a prism because it only has... Here's a square base, but it doesn't have another one on top. So this is not a prism. All right, so let's look at some examples and see what you can go here. All right, I would like for you to take some time and see on your notes page if you can um, identify with the names of these shapes. So just take a couple minutes, see if you know the names. If you don't, it's okay. I just wanted to see where you were. So take some time and then come back. All right, here are the names of these shapes. Let's see how you did, if you knew any of them. Um, a triangular prism, a rectangular prism, and a cube. So these all have, um, just what we said before, they have um, bases that are parallel to each other. So this base over here with this base over here that you really can't see because it's three-dimensional. Um, this triangular base along with this triangular base, um, those are uh, parallel and congruent. And uh, same thing with this one, this side and this side. The cube has all parallel. And then the last two, these are pyramids. So I have a triangular pyramid and a rectangular pyramid. So we'll come back to that. As, well, let's look at this one. Let's see if you can tell the difference between the triangular and the square pyramid. All right, did you notice that the triangular prism, the base of that one is still a triangle? 
but the base of a square pyramid or rectangular pyramid would have a rectangular base or a square base. Okay? All right. So what I would like for you to do right now is I would like for you to go and see if you can count how many faces, edges, and vertices each of these pictures have. So remember, the faces are the flat surfaces that they have. The edges are the lines. The lines. And the vertices are the points. So take some time. Do the first one. And then come back and let's just see if you're on the right track. So pause it and then come back once you've just done the first one. All right, so how did you do with that first one? So a triangular prism, it has five faces. So if you are having trouble with that one, you have to, again, think in your mind. So it's got a base, so that's one face. The base, that's one. Then it's triangular, so that means it has one, two, three on bottom plus that one, five. So there's five there. Okay, and then the edges, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine edges. I'm gonna erase it so you can see the vertices. And the vertices, again, are the points. So one, two, three, four, five, six vertices. Okay? So I want you to go back now and do the rest of the page. Um, when you have them finished, come back and see, check your answers. All right. Let's go ahead and check your answers. So check your the one for the rectangular prism. It was six faces, 12 and 8. The cube was 6, 12, and 8. And the triangular pyramid had four faces, six edges, four vertices. And the rectangular pyramid, five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. I think the vertices are e the easiest to, to uh, identify, followed by the edges, and then the faces sometimes are the harder ones to look at. So. Let's see how you did with that. And if you have questions with those, you're sure not sure, please make sure and ask them tomorrow. All right, we're going to move on now to nets, what's called nets. So we're still looking at the three-dimensional shapes, but a net is a two-dimensional pattern of that three-dimensional figure. So basically, it's, it's I'm unfolding that shape. So if you look at this shape, okay, this is obviously going to be a square. If I were to fold it back up, it's going to be a square. Okay. This is going to be a, um, a uh, let me show you the shapes. Just one second. I'm going to look, I'm going to show you some more. Go to this one. So here's some other. I'm going to show you an example. All right. So here is a picture of a um, triangular prism. So, this is the triangular prism right here, and let's see how it. All right, so watch the net as it's folded up. So do you see what a net is? It's actually unfolding that so you can see each side. So it actually makes it makes it easier to count the faces, the edges, and the vertices. Let's look at the rectangular prism. So again, move it, unfolding it. Okay, so that's called a net. Okay, I'm unfolding it. All right, so let's look again at the nets and see if you can understand this one. So if you look at this one, you notice that it's got triangular bases. So that's where I get my triangle piece. Again, this triangular piece right here is shown right there. And then my faces that all go around, there are three of them. So that's where I get all three. Okay, over here on my rectangular prism, again, my bases, my squares, there they are. There are my squares. And then it's wrapped around the four rectangles. Okay, and my cube, cube's kind of the easiest one to do because they're all squares. 
What you're going to find, though, is if you have a cube or even the rectangle ones, all of these nets work for this, for this cube. All of them work. They all have the side base, but they've just put it in different places, which is okay. So all of these nets work. Okay. So sometimes where you put that base piece, uh, it may be different for some other people, but it will still work out the same. All right, let's look at this example. I want you to match up this 3D figure um, with the one below. So first I want you to just look at it. What do you notice? Hopefully you notice that it's got a triangular base. There's the other triangular base. Okay, so that means it's a prism because it's got two uh, um, congruent parallel um, shapes. And then it's got three rectangular faces. All right, so let's see if you can guess which one is right. So, let's see, which one do you think is correct? Hopefully you went with B. So I've got my triangular bases and then three rectangular faces, okay? All right, last thing I want you to do is I want you to see if you can draw these nets, okay? See if you can draw the nets for a cube, the rectangular prism, the triangular prism, a square base pyramid and a triangular pyramid. Take some time, pause the video, and come back for, ans for the answer. All right, check your nets to see how they look. Obviously, mine are not the best, um, but they are hand drawn, so and that's what yours should look like. So if you look at this one, they are all squares, and then you should have this base. If you have it wherever, if you have it on here, here, or here, it doesn't matter where you have that base one. Same for this one. There's rectangular faces, four of them, and your base should be on the end somewhere. It doesn't, again, it doesn't matter if it's here, 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 or here. It doesn't matter. The triangular prism, okay, there are four, rec, excuse me, three rectangular faces and a triangular base. So the base needs to be um, somewhere on this side, one on this side, doesn't matter where. The square base pyramid, okay, you should have a base of a square that should look more like a square rather than a rectangle there. And then a triangle on all four sides of that one. And then the triangular pyramid, I actually had kind of a hard time drawing this one. Um, so it's got a triangle in the middle, and then the faces that come up, there are three of them. So let me just show you how I drew this one because I think it's a little bit harder. So I kind of drew a straight line. I made a triangle up triangle up, so there's extra, I kind of erase right to it, so there's my other triangle, and then make a triangle up, okay, so, so I thought that one was a little bit harder to draw, so, okay, hopefully you have a, whoop, hopefully you have a better sense of nets, um, I have some uh, in the classroom that I will show you if that helps you a little bit more, all right, so we're just going to close with, again, we've talked about that a three-dimensional shape is showing length, width, and height. Um, and because of that, then you can identify the faces, edges, and vertices. And then when you unfold that three-dimensional shape, it forms a net. And that's what all of these are, are my nets. Okay. Again, if you need some help looking at those nets tomorrow, let me know. I have some hard copies that might help you to see it a little bit better and to actually fold it up and unfold it. All right, hope you have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.